In Premiere, you can create some pretty simple effects using the Effect Controls tab found near the top here of your software. And basically, we can adjust some motion stuff as well as create a transparency effect and we can also alter the timing of the clip. We can basically do fast or slow motion. So in order to do this, we'll first need to click on a clip on our timeline. And I'll just click on this clip right here. And I'm just using an old project file for this tutorial. And what we can do first, when we click on that clip, you can see right away that we pop in some different things here. And if you're not seeing what I'm seeing, just click on Effect Controls right above here. And we'll have three options, motion, opacity, and time remapping. If we click on motion, you can see that we have all sorts of different options to choose from here. First, we can adjust the position of the clip. And the first value represents the X positioning, and the second represents the Y. So if we just click and move our mouse, you can see that we can adjust the horizontal position of the clip on the canvas and we can do the same with the vertical positioning as well. So that could be useful if you wanted to do some sort of, I guess, repositioning of your clip, um, especially let's say your clip is bigger than the canvas. You could uh, reposition it so that, so that you could um, show what you wanna show. And you also have the scaling here, so we can of course enlarge or decrease the size of the clip. Now just, just to caution you on this, when you are working with this, don't enlarge it too far. Like I've enlarged it, you know, basically three times past the original size. You can see that the video becomes very pixelated. It becomes very degraded. So you just want to make sure that um, you don't go past the original file or the original size of it too much because that could cause some problems for you, especially if you want the video to look good. <laughs> and then you have down here, you have rotation so we could rotate the clip and you'll notice how it rotates from the center well if you want to change that you can work with the anchor point so for instance with the anchor point if I set this to 0 and 0 and I just kind of bring it back in like this what we can do now is when we rotate you can see that it rotates from the top left and that's because we are adjusting the origin point or the anchor for the clip and if you've worked with Flash or another animation software, you'll know how origin points work. When you resize or when you rotate, it all depends on the origin point, or in this case, the anchor point. So if you want to adjust that, you can definitely, you can definitely do that. So the other two options we can work with, and also there's anti-flicker, which if you're having some flickering issues with your footage, you can work with that. But the other two options here are opacity, which allows us to increase or decrease the opacity or the transparency of the object. So we can, uh, let's say, put it to 40%. And just to demonstrate this further, I could put this clip over this other clip here. And you can see now we have a, a transparency effect occurring. And you can also do some other blending options with this. Like, for instance, if we chose to do lighten. You can see that it slightly alters the way this looks. Um, and all of these do many different things. Um, it's just something you'll have to play around with. But you can definitely adjust how the transparency looks compared to what it's overlaying. And so something to play with if you uh, are feeling ambitious and if you're looking for a different effect. Now the last one is time remapping. And this basically allows us to do fast or slow motion. Um, so in this case, if I were to decrease this graph or this line, um, and we were to play the clip, you can see that it's extreme slow motion right now because it's only at 5% of the original speed. But you can basically go up or down depending on what you want to do. So you can see that it decreased the size of my um, my clip here in the timeline. but you can see that it's, uh, bring it in a bit there. You can see it's like very quick now um, because I just adjusted it and I sped up the, uh, the frame basically. And so those are some things you can play with when you are working on your clips. Let me just get back. Okay, there we go. Getting back to my original speed here. Now finally, with all of this, you can 
create what are called keyframes, and then you can create a motion between these two keyframes depending on which effect you're using. So for instance, let's say with this particular clip, I want to do a zoom in. So I want to start right about here, and then I want to zoom in on the action going on. So what I could do is I could click this time button. Um, it's called toggle animation, but it looks like a stopwatch. I could click that to create a keyframe. And you can see now that we have this, this icon on the, the scale portion, and that's what's called a keyframe. And then we could just move in, maybe about here, and then we could scale it up like so. And so now you can see that it zooms in during that portion. And we could even go further. Let's say, oh, we want to also adjust the positioning so we can center in on him while it's happening. So we can go up to the position, create a keyframe, and then come over here to this portion. And then we could adjust, you know, the X and Y values accordingly. So then you can. And it's still, you, you need probably some work here to, you know, have them completely center all the time. You would have to do some more keyframes in between here. But that gives you an idea that you can create motion with these effects as well. It just requires some keyframes and just a little creativity, I guess. But anyway, that's a little bit about the effect controls in Premiere. If you'd like to view more free tutorials, you can visit my website, IncredibleTutorials.com. I have free tutorials on Flash, Anime Studio, Premiere, WordPress, and more. So you can check those out. If you're looking for more advanced tutorials, more in-depth tutorials, you can visit IncrediblePhiles.com, which is a place where I sell, of course, more in-depth tutorials. And finally, if you are looking for one-on-one -on -one tutoring, check out IncredibleTutoring.com. We can set up a tutoring session and we can get you up to speed on Flash, Anime Studio, or even Premiere. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.